And now it's time to talk about the rubric. An important part of this class is um, using the rubric to evaluate your peers and to evaluate yourself. Um, so first thing that most people ask is what is evidence? Um, because there's different levels. There's a, what is strong evidence, what is weak evidence, and what is no evidence. The easiest one of those is no evidence. <laughs> if the person has no pictures or no videos, nothing there, that's obviously no evidence. And that's really the only time that that's applicable is if there's nothing. Even someone with a tiny bit of um, a picture that might be blurry, it's hard to read, and they don't write anything about it, even that's weak evidence. Um, strong evidence, though, would be something where you read it, you look at it, and you really get the clear picture that this person made this. They really thought about it, and they really they did it. Um, not their parents, not their sister, brother, um, they did it. And, and not to say they couldn't get help, but the idea is that when you see kind of proof um, or examples um, of what they did and how they were thinking. And that's what we're counting as evidence. Um, just being able to talk about it isn't necessarily evidence. Just having a picture of it isn't necessarily evidence. But when you put those together, you make a really strong case for yourself and for other people. And so one of the reasons you're evaluating other people is so you can see what a good project looks like. Or you can see what you might want to do better for next time. You, see, um, you might be able to view your own project in a new way. So by evaluating other people, you're actually making yourself better. And you're also giving them some feedback so they can make their projects better. So by the time we get to the last project, it'll be amazing.